It's hard and it's painful. And it is every day. Once again, good evening and welcome to the program Wounds of the Heart. Where we are here to help you heal any form of wound that has been caused by emotional, psychological, physical issues that is still bothering your life. It can be addiction, it can be whatever. We are here to bring people who are qualified, personnel who are trained to educate you and to help you overcome that thing here on Wounds of the Heart. And as, the, as, as, as it is, I have a wonderful lady to, to introduce. And before I do, I do that, I want us to know that in case you, 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 you join, you share your comments and questions for whatever we're going to discuss, you can do it via our Facebook page, Hope TVGH. Hope TVGH Facebook page, and also on our YouTube, Hope TVGH YouTube. Just please subscribe, click on notification, subscribe, and share the link to people for them also to know that indeed um, the program is on. And whenever it's every Wednesday at 4 p.m., you know, there's no place to be than to stay, stick glue to your seat and watch Wounds of the Heart on your Hope TV as we change life. And you see, every day the fabric, I, I, I love, I love Sleek Freak. They have been so helpful when it comes to to my, my, my attire. They always give me the fabric for me to put it on and to sew it um, and put it on. And if you want Sleeker Freak, Instagram Sleeker Freak, Facebook Sleeker Freak, and their contact is 0557-355-852. 0557-355-852. And I, I'm telling you that there's, um, they, there's a good news when it comes to Sleeker Freak. It has a casual by Sleeker Freak. It's still on um, Facebook, oh, Instagram. Casuals by Sleeker Freak, where ladies' dresses are are, are are created and and you don't need to go to the seamstress to to um, to sew. It is there already. Friday wear for of offices and for church and for whatever. Casual by Sleek Afrik, and you see, it is always beautiful that Sleek Afrik will, will will bring you the best fabric that that you want. So please go to Instagram, Casual by Sleek Afrik, and you see all sort of things that. They are done there. And I tell you, this young guy who always put me on flyer, Alpha Art, God bless you so much for, for, for the design that you give all the time. I know this season two, people are, people are talking about your, your, your designs already in this season two of Wounds of the Heart. And we, we are so much appreciative. If you want a logo, if you want anything graphics, please, 0551-404-387, Alpha Art, Instagram and um, Facebook, Alpha Art. Just contact him. Or if you want to talk to him, just speak through me and you get it. And if you want to help this program, if you want to help um, um, invite Wounds of the Heart, if you want to sponsor, if you have any follow-up um, care after every dis discussion, you can call 0559 535554. And I will respond to your call after each program. God bless you for joining. Um, today, there's, the, the guest has been a guest that we know. Last season, he was, he was with us. Today, too, she's still with us. And I wouldn't waste so much time to, to welcome her and help me welcome. Sister Justina, good evening. Welcome to the program, Once of the Heart. Good evening. I trust you're fine. By the grace of God. We, 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 we thank God so much for, for your life. Whenever Wounds of the Heart calls you to come, you are always ready. You are always ready to 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 come and 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 sit and share whatever you have for people out there to also understand and, and get to know whatever is happening. Especially the parents who have ignored and neglected a lot of things that we we, we see tonight. Um, this evening's discussion is centered on. I will call it as a lay person. I will call it somatic disorder. I'll call it uh, soma, uh, somatization. somatization. <laughs> but uh, the recent one day is a somato, uh, somatoform, somatoform disorder. disorder. What is this big word? What is the meaning mm. of somatoform disorder? Okay. So whichever the word we use, there's a soma. Exactly. Something. Nah, whether Jonah swallow or swallow, <laughs> there's, a, there's a swallow. Okay. So um, thank you for the opportunity. Mm -hmm. And then the fact that... Um, you are educating Ghana. We thank God so much. Yeah. yeah. So I will start by saying that um, every human being is make up of um, the physical, okay. 
the biological mm -hmm. and then psychological mm -hmm. and then spiritual. Mm -hmm. So we are this four mm -hmm. to be complete. Mm -hmm. So we can't treat others and leave the other. Mm -hmm. So it's good we talk about somatoform mm -hmm. disorders mm -hmm. this evening. Mm -hmm. So we're talking about they are psychological psychological conditions. Okay, yes, so that yeah. Is. So mm -hmm. the bottom line is they are psychological conditions mm -hmm. where a person experiences bodily pain, bodily symptoms. A person experiences bodily, bodily symptoms. symptoms without any uh, evidence to mm -hmm. it. So you go through a whole lot of bodily symptoms it could be pain it could be burning sensation it could be anything but we don't have any hmm. concrete evidence to that so there are people living where they are they feel pains every blessed day mm -hmm. and maybe we'll attribute it to which or something because whenever i met that sorry pastor me tips and i said yeah boom it near there and as a material, me, 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 mm -hmm. it is not spiritual per se. Yes. But when we come as the definition you're giving us, mm -hmm. somatoform disorders. Disorders. Uh -huh. So it's okay. a group of disorders mm -hmm. that um, a, a, a person mm -hmm. go through bodily symptoms mm -hmm. without any biological, medical, neurological basis. Mm. Mm. And it should be persistent for at least six months or more. Mm -hmm. It should be persistent. So continuously, you need to, if you experience this bodily pains or burning sensation for or six whatever, months or more, there or whatever, are others, other pains, uh -huh. okay. Then I persistently think, Persistently okay. six months, then you are into that category. So aside the body pain, what other pains that, if, what are others that my, my viewers should, should in, know? Because, in actual fact, mm -hmm. there are several of them. Mm -hmm. But the most common one is the pain. Mm -hmm. So we have the pain disorder. Mm -hmm. Then we have the conversion. Mm -hmm. Then we can talk of um, the um, body dysmorphic. This is a big word I will explain. Uh, say, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, it's been very serious. Body dysmorphic. And mm -hmm. then we have the mm -hmm. um, unspecified. Mm -hmm. And then the specified. Mm -hmm. So the uh, unspecified is when... Um, we don't have um, much information mm -hmm. to conclude that this is it. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So let's say the person was in Accra for three months and he com the person complained of those bodily mm -hmm. experience mm -hmm. and then moved to Kumasi for some time. It wasn't there. So mm -hmm. the person cannot pinpoint mm -hmm. what exactly is causing mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. And then we've ruled out all medical, neurological mm -hmm. um, conditions out. Mm -hmm. So we don't have much information about how the person was raised, mm -hmm. where the person has lived for a period. Mm -hmm. You know, I said it should be consistent for about six months mm -hmm. to be classified mm -hmm. as such. Mm -hmm. So we can't even track or trace mm -hmm. when it started, mm -hmm. how it started on mm -hmm. all those play things. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Then we will put it under the unspecified. Mm, okay. Uh -huh. Okay. So, so we these can't are specify what exactly, exactly is uh -huh. wrong with with, so, with, with, with which with. it's not oftenly uh, concludes. So we consider other things, but this is where you don't have much information. You can classify it as such. Hmm. It becomes a time. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So no so the sort of becomes when it continues. Mm -hmm. So I can feel body pains and it is okay. Yeah, but you, you, yes, mm -hmm. it's okay. Maybe because of what you sometimes even what you ate before mm -hmm. going to bed mm -hmm. and all those things, mm -hmm. and then maybe you feel it once a week, then it's off. Mm -hmm. Then two three months you mm -hmm. feel the same thing. Mm -hmm. That is not a somatoform. Mm -hmm. All right. So you, you talk on specifying. What of mm -hmm. the you, you made mention of the con conversion disorder? What is yes. that? Yes, that okay with physical symptoms that may make uh, neurological disorders. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. So, okay. something that is neuro mm -hmm. feeling kind uh -huh. of. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. 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 So, okay. the conversion may make 
neurological okay. um and the pains pain, the pains you have discussed the pains already the pains that we know pain, 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 pain it could pain. be headache yes. it could be aha mm -hmm. uh -huh. okay so these are some of the types you can talk of then the <laughs> why are you laughing <laughs> <laughs> the body that's more fake i mentioned uh -huh. i know uh -huh. big one, I, yes. yes i uh -huh. know that's why i'm laughing you uh -huh. know um it's preoccupation of a physical defect okay so some people think they are not made well mm -hmm. so my head should or sometimes it can be that the person have colored mm -hmm. or pimple mm -hmm. and it's just one pimple mm -hmm. and the person will make it look like uh, the body <laughs> is deformed because of that the pimple, pimple yeah. some people you know some people have tiny rashes on mm -hmm, their skin mm -hmm, for me it's mm -hmm. beautiful <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it yeah, looks so nice but <laughs> somebody will always be covering the body because of that That's those rashes, maybe yeah. somebody like me is admiring mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. the person will think because of and that i'm not a woman yeah, exactly, enough exactly. or a mark somewhere mm -hmm, you know mm -hmm. we have birth mark and all mm -hmm, those things mm -hmm. and the person will make it look like the body is deformed because of mm -hmm, that mm -hmm, uh -huh. mm -hmm. that is what mm -hmm. we term them mm -hmm. um, is, is is there any do you have any um, um signs if somebody is feeling any of what you said that will let us know that the person is suffering from somatoform disorder is there any signs as yes there, there there are the basic one is persistent complaint of something something that has something, no some pain yes neurological or medical after all the tests, nothing proves that there's something to cause that. Mm. Mm. Uh -huh. Some people mm. also exaggerate mm. or make the, the, the condition may be there, mm. but they would create the impression that life is not worth living because of that, mm -hmm. just to get attention. Mm -hmm. It can also cause people to develop what we call the health anxiety. Mm. So because I always wake up feeling pain, I'm using the pain because that's the most that's common one. That's the most one. common one, yeah, exactly. Headaches, I can't sleep, mm -hmm. and all this. And they move from hospital to hospital. Mm -hmm. So this doctor did a test and said there's nothing. Mm -hmm. I'm not convinced. <laughs> so we'll have to move to another person. <laughs> the another doctor, the doctors are not seeing right. Then you move. So these are some of the signs and symptoms. The common signs of changes that you can find. Is it somebody, somebody will ask now, what is the essence of what we, we, these people are telling us? <laughs> is it as a pastor, a lot of people will come to you with um, specific issues, mm -hmm. especially they will, they were originated from a sleep mm -hmm. that I dreamt and mm. I realized this, but when I woke up, I feel all these body pains. Mm. Ebia be phobia ba ebia ben se se ya shi ya shi shi jebi gumi so and these are the things the person will be going through. We are we we want to let the public know that there's something called somatoform disorder that deals with pains and and this sensation that has no um, um, clue of the, the the where it is coming from. So we shouldn't first and foremost jump into church and 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 worry the pastors and and thinking that oh I, 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 it's something I'll be some announcer something will be the me especially when you are, you get to a position in a work where all of a sudden you start feeling this body yeah, pains. It, it's unfortunate um, witches and wizards in Africa <laughs> only do people when they are age <laughs> when they are doing well. But meanwhile, <laughs> I know witchcraft can even push people to do well. Exactly. But exactly. unfortunately, <laughs> at the hours has ten. But like you said, um, to the pastors too. Exactly. No, having this knowledge mm -hmm, mm -hmm. helps you to encourage mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. those who over in itself is a somatoform. Exactly. So you over spiritualize everything, <laughs> oh, which okay. doesn't have. You know, remember I said that we rule out all rational conditions mm -hmm. out and you are still going through mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. spiritual over spiritualizing things. so pastors should encourage members who pray all right exactly. i always say that prayers is part of exactly. Exactly. Thing. exactly 
So do the needful whilst you pray. Mm. It doesn't make God the second. Because you even pray before you go to the hospital mm -hmm. for the checkups and mm -hmm. all those things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So pastors should know and then tell um, their church members. Mm -hmm. However, mm -hmm. there could also be other psychological issues mm -hmm. existing. Mm -hmm. So we have something we call co-occurring. Mm -hmm. Psychological disorders. Mm -hmm. So there could be a psychological. Oh, no, we'll, 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 come, we'll come there. I just want us to we'll, we'll come to that that co-occurrence mm -hmm. um, and whatever. But so now th these are the, when the person complains of um, body pains. It's a sign mm -hmm. to know that there's and the other um, um, that um, um, uh, conventional and whatever we have. Yeah. I, I want to know since. The, the, the definition of somatoform is that a, a, a pain that has no mm -hmm. A persistence, source. yes. But not how, necessarily a pain. It could be anything. anything. But how uh -huh. do we... What, what are the causes? What are the causes of somatoform disorder? What are, what are the causes? What are the main causes that would what, 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 what bring about somatoform? Okay. So the usual thing. I say the usual because every human being inherits something from... So we have the <laughs> genetics. Uh, your makeup that those who gave birth to you contributed mm. to your makeup. Mm. Uh -huh, it's one. So you it could be an inheritance. It's mm -hmm. in the family. Mm -hmm. So everybody, it's however, okay. it doesn't mean you will get there, mm -hmm. but you are predisposed. Mm -hmm. Then we have the personality traits. The kind of traits. You know, we have several personality ah. traits. M melancholy, whatever, those traits you're talking about. Uh, there are others to... Um, the sanguine, the whatever. Yes, uh -huh. and then temperament. Tem those are the temperament. All those so, uh -huh. Uh -huh. So How does that come paranoid, into? Paranoid, uh -huh. uh, schizoid, uh -huh. and all the uh -huh. dramatic. Uh -huh. All these things play a role. How? So if you like a paranoid personality, mm -hmm. you are not bothered, you are indifferent mm -hmm. and all those mm -hmm. things. So most often, everything is within. Mm -hmm. they, they, they keep everything in themselves. Mm -hmm. Or they don't have empathy and mm -hmm. all those things. And that alone can cause you to mm -hmm. experience some of mm -hmm. these things. Mm -hmm. Then we can talk about um, um, past experience. Past experience. Of mm -hmm. Experience you've had in life. Mm -hmm. So if you've lived in a certain area, Mm -hmm. where certain things are common, like uh, disaster-prone areas, mm -hmm. where um, it could be a war, natural disaster, artificial disaster, mm -hmm. like what happened in Bogoso, mm -hmm. in the mining area, certain things are mm -hmm. common. Hearing certain sounds mm -hmm. are okay. Seeing certain things are fine. You get out from that area. That is what you've grown mm -hmm. with. Okay. A violent environment. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. So you always mm -hmm. feel and mm -hmm. think something mm -hmm. ill mm -hmm. is around and is coming mm -hmm. to happen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That could also... Mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm -hmm. But when you are predisposed, it mm -hmm. makes it a bit easy or common for you to go mm -hmm. through this kind of disorders. Mm -hmm. So, so um, aside genetics mm -hmm. and aside temperament or with somebody being hypertensive or whatever, can... Family influences also have, can cause, can family influences cause? Yeah, that comes under the environment. Mm -hmm. Okay. So a family that live a certain way. Mm -hmm. So you grow okay. up knowing that uh, let's use abuse. Mm -hmm. That has been the environment. That mm -hmm. is what you mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. So the moment you're talking to somebody and the person raises a particular mm -hmm. and you know, the person is beaten or mm -hmm. the person shouts at you. Mm -hmm. So you tend to, the person has been abusing me. Mm -hmm. The person has been abusing me mm -hmm. because of how you were raised. So mm -hmm. you speak and nobody speaks. Mm -hmm. So the moment somebody speaks opposing mm -hmm. yours, you think it's an abuse because mm -hmm. of your experience exactly. and your predisposition. Oh, okay, okay. So we are viewers, in case you just joined, we are discussing somatoform disorders, a disorder that, um, um, uh, an ailment that 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 results at uh, you personally going through some pains and and some conventional disorders and um, all these things. But especially, what, what the, I'm using pain because it's common. 
It's common when somebody comes to you that I always feel pains in my heart, in my, in my body. I don't know. I haven't done anything. And people I, I attribute it to spiritual issues. That is why I'm, we're taking our time to go through um, this, this, this um, disorder, somatoform disorder, so that at least you and I will have a bit of education when somebody comes to us complaining about this thing. Then we wouldn't, we wouldn't just conclude with prayers. But after pray, as, as alongside praying for the person, we may tell the person to go to, to meet clinical psychologists or whoever. Just the person who undergoes some tra trainings to allow the person to know whether what he or she is going through is a somatophobe or not. Then the person will be fine. So we shouldn't attribute everything or anything to spirituality whereby you had a dream and you woke up and your body is paining because the witches came to your dream to beat you. And yes, Sani we are, we, we, are, we are discussing something that will help you will help the person who or, or, uh, is a, your, your role model, that whenever you also say something, that person will listen to. So please, we are discussing this thing just for all our consumption, for us to help our, ourselves. Um, uh, my, my dear, now, now that we are done with causes, mm -hmm. how can somatoform disorder affect one's well-being? How can it affect individual? You see that um, when it comes to psychological issues mm -hmm. our interest is daily functioning mm -hmm. so it, these things we're talking about mm -hmm. the bodily symptoms mm -hmm. that we cannot account mm -hmm. for by any medical or neurological mm -hmm. condition how is it affecting your daily living some people are not able to go to school are not able to work mm -hmm. because everybody around them is a witch or wizard or mm -hmm. is doing something mm -hmm and it's causing their pain mm -hmm. or moving from one hospital to the other mm -hmm. checking that pain mm -hmm. so which organization will give you two months you just go and it's all hospitalization mm -hmm. or seeking medical help for leave every month you need some mm -hmm. days it will call for questioning mm -hmm. so it's this taught the daily living of the person mm -hmm. even upkeep Mm -hmm. um, child um, upkeep or family upkeep mm -hmm. responsibilities. Mm -hmm. So you work, you earn money, and you buy medications mm -hmm. because you're feeling one pain mm -hmm. every time is that pain. Mm -hmm. And you buy any medication <laughs> that is available to treat it. <laughs> So money, financial, financially, okay. Okay. socially, mm -hmm. they, it becomes difficult to maintain relationship. Oh. How many people can say every day my head aches? Uh, okay. So going to cook my head, <laughs> um, bathing my head. <laughs> you know, but when we like we doing now that we get to understand what is it, then we mm -hmm. can help the person mm -hmm. and then money. But before mm -hmm. you get to understand that mm -hmm. it could be this and mm -hmm. help. Mm -hmm. It's not easy tolerating such exactly. people. Exactly. Some exactly. people use it to get attention mm -hmm. and it becomes part of them. So eventually they do it without realizing. Mm -hmm. And then this takes me back when I was in SS. Mm -hmm. I had two females who were like that. But I didn't know it was something like this. Mm -hmm. When there's an issue that punishment comes, hey, my heart. <sighs> and this girl, before you could say, she's crying and <laughs> I can't breathe. And they will take her to the dormitory. She escapes the punishment, uh -huh. and it became part of her. So that is how okay, another that, person okay. was my leg. This girl will uh, disobey almost all the rules and rules. Whenever she is called for punishment, her, she can't stand. It's pretending. That, that, that. It's not pretending. It has. Been, you see that I was saying that we could have them um, underlining psychological okay. conditions. You, 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 after that, you uh -huh. talk about it. Or co-occurring. Okay, exactly. Uh -huh. But it could equally be just a somatic form, something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So pause, pause, pause here. I want us to go for this. When we come, there's this call, Karen, when it comes to somatic form disorder, there are things that can also bring it up. She wanted to say, I just want, want her to pause. <laughs> so when we, 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 we return from the break, she's going to continue on with, with, with the effect and the co-occurring when it comes to somatic form disorders. After that, the diagnosis and habits will be able to help people in that, that, um, that situation. Please, 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 don't go anywhere. I'll be right back.
for one night only. The city will converge at the National Theatre as United in Praise presents the A Cappella Festival. Yes! Praise for a divine musical experience on Saturday, December 31, as Ghana's hottest a cappella groups usher us into 2023 in a grand style. On stage performing, Black Cappella, The Manifest, Vocal Path, Note 6, K3M, New Era, Soul Street, and many more. Special appearances by Pesdak Praise Choir, Gifted Deer, Mark Enimirenchi, and Perez Music. Get an early bird ticket now at a cool 70 Ghana cities standard for single, 150 Ghana cities VIP, and a 300 Ghana cities for a family of five. Simply dial star 928 star 529 hash to get your tickets now. The A Cappella Festival is proudly endorsed by Beyond the Return and supported by Chatterhouse, Evans Dome, Midima Fuheba Clinic, Meridian Ghana Conference and powered by United in Praise. Pelafest, a Hope Channel Ghana production. My understanding about laws is that they are, they are rules and regulations governing our society. Yes, or our community. They are like rules, they are made to regulate human behavior. Right to freedom, right to, to life, right to own property. Yeah, that's, that's what I know. Yes. The Supreme Court. Okay, so should I don't see what you... Yeah. Yes, my right has been violated um, in school. I heard that corporal punishment is now abolished, but my teacher still used to cane us. The highest law in Ghana is the Constitution. This is difficult. <laughs> the law on life. I think the law on life. <laughs> so which is which? The Constitution or the right to life? Why don't you join me, Anita Delight Dankwa, every Thursday at 6.30 p.m as we discuss all legal issues from a Christian perspective on Hope Channel, your preferred Christian channel. From the break, uh, we are discussing somatic form disorder, a disorder whereby you will feel but the, the, the commonness is that you will feel body pains every blessed day for, for about six months continuously. And don't seek for spiritual care first. In as much as you go to your church pastor to, to talk to him about it, please let us go and visit the clinical psychologist or guy um, counseling psychologist or whoever who is um, well to do in when in that area. To examine, we'll come, we'll come on how to di diagnose, but to, so that we can add prayer to help this thing. I'm, I'm treating this, um, um, this topic because a lot of people uh, misconstrue certain things to spirituality, and that is the reason why spirituality, in the sense of witchcraft, and that's the reason why certain things, when we come across or when people talk about it, I, I, I deem it fit to bring it here on wounds of the heart to educate us. To learn so that we can also help the other, uh, other people. So you, you, you were talking about fact, um, the, the causes mm -hmm. and uh, the effect, and realize that it affects financial because mm -hmm. there are people who s sit on radio and be listening to med med medicines from here, from here, okoto, wakoto, wakoto, and that the daddy made it known. And you were talking about this, this classmates, uh, these classmates of yours, and. That, that will always say, me, tia, me, ya, man, ya, me, ya, what kind of stuff. And I was saying, and you brought something that caught Karen's. What is that? Then you, you can, you can um, um, Come to the link effect. it to the, yeah, exactly, please. Okay. So, um, the caught Karen um, mental health issues. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we have mental health issues. Mm -hmm. 
like depression, mm -hmm. anxiety, mm -hmm. and those of them. Mm -hmm. These things can be there, mm -hmm. can be happening to you mm -hmm. whilst you're going through the somatoform disorders. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I hope I'm clear. Yeah, so, so it's uh -huh. possible you have anxiety disorder mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or depression. Mm -hmm. That is underlying factor. Mm -hmm. It can promote the somatoform. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And these mm -hmm. things will be working together mm -hmm. in the one person. It could be one or almost all of them. We have multiple cases where one person is suffering from depression, anxiety, and other psychological mm -hmm. disorders plus the somatoform disorders. So when, when, when that person is, is suffering from anxiety or de depression, Somatoform could, could, could bring it up. Is yes. that what it means? Yes. So, <laughs> somatoform, so, <laughs> you see, I, 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 I still, I, I, I want... It, it, it sounds something. Exactly. But it's just like um, having malaria, mm -hmm. having a typhoid, mm -hmm. and then having hepatitis B mm -hmm. at the same time. Each of them is on its own. Mm -hmm. So when you run malaria test, you test positive. Mm -hmm. It won't show mm -hmm. um, high B or when you go any run of the hepatitis. When you run hepi hepatitis, mm -hmm. you will test positive mm -hmm. and malaria won't show mm -hmm. in. Mm -hmm. Except you get somebody who would mm -hmm. be able to consider all this. So you do all these tests mm -hmm. at the same time. Mm -hmm. Then you get to know that this is there, this is there. So they give medication to treat all the symptoms. Mm -hmm. It's the same mm. with psychological issues. Mm. So somatoform disorder can co-occur with a uh, substance abuse disorder. Mm. 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 I, I wanted to ask that. <laughs> how, how is the link? Why is somatoform disorder can co-occur with uh, substance? It's, it's almost all the psychological disorders. So you see that the causes, mm -hmm. inheritance, genetics mm -hmm. comes in, environment mm -hmm. and all those mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. So if you are predisposed to one, it is there, or you are suffering from one. Mm -hmm. One, is, it, is, it isn't, let's use the substance abuse. It isn't the substance abuse that is causing the somatoform. Mm -hmm. They are all independent, but they are happening at the same time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. if you treat um, abuse, substance abuse disorder, mm -hmm. the somatoforms are there. So you have to treat both. <laughs> so, so somebody can be, um, let's say somebody takes alcohol mm -hmm. three days or one week, mm -hmm. or even I had a case where she, he took a, I said weed, toffee made with weed, it's about three years ago, mm -hmm. and he's still thinking that is causing my problem. That is why I can't sleep. That is why I feel three years ago more. And he, 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 the person is reliving really that experience that it is the mm -hmm. that is not cost. He cannot sleep. He cannot um, concentrate mm -hmm. on what he does on mm -hmm. his daily activities, mm -hmm. and it is that toffee mm -hmm. he ate. <laughs> and again, a pastor told him that uh, if he doesn't take care, he will go mad. So you see the connection. Mm -hmm. One toffee. So I'm getting mad because I took. The toffee because that is why I'm not able to do mm -hmm. this. I see a mad person and I feel I also get mad. You see the link. So somatoform. Mm -hmm. It's it's certain. It's, it's certain and bringing all these things mm -hmm. to play. Mm -hmm. So now I I I think I'll go mad because the pastor says so. So imagine I may get mad because of that. Mm -hmm. Hey, brother, somatoform. So I, I, you see, viewers. <laughs> There are a lot of things happening, and we think it is normal. It is not. It is not. Our young people should know set, set things we are discussing so that they will be able to stand when it comes to mental rights, stand and help people who may not be able to read nor write. When you understand what we are discussing, it is easier to explain it to somebody who is illiterate, excuse me to say, somebody who, can, who can't read. Or if this thing had never been transcribed to the, the language the person can understand. 
you can explain it better to that person. I said you can share, you can share the link to your, your groups that you belong, any WhatsApp, or in your in your in, in your your friends that you think they need to hear these messages. And I think it will do us good. We are discussing somatoform disorder. I'm sure some of us are confused now. What then chromo kekana? And somatoform disorder, as I'm saying, it's a pain that that person, not all, that person will be stayed for six months. And you can't get its cause from falling on the ground or whatever. You can sleep and wake up and you feel that body pains. And people associate it with dreams and uh, wizards and witches. That is why we are taking our time to go through this with us. Now we, 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 we just saw the, the co-occurrence of somatoform that it can also um, allow um, substance abuse and also depression and anxiety. We are, going, we are moving back to the, 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 one of the few effects and we'll, go about, we'll talk about how it's been diagnosed and how best we can help people. So, um, sis, sis, um, um, Justina, yes, now you, we, I, 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 I came in when you were talking about the, the effect. Okay. Now, please, can we, let's quickly jump into the effect, feel briefly, and let's, let's, let's see how best we can diagnose people with somatoform okay. disorder. Okay, so we can develop poor health. Really? You're always focusing, focusing on, on physical on symptoms, uh, fatigue. So, you know, you see, the mind, the brain reward system, mm -hmm. what you feed it mm -hmm. is what it accepts. Mm -hmm. So over time, the body knows that when you sit in a certain way, mm -hmm. you are tired mm -hmm. and your mind will be telling you mm -hmm. or you've been taking certain drugs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So some of the, 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 the treatment or medications used to treat certain kind of mm -hmm. things, extreme ones, mm -hmm. can also cause this. Mm -hmm. So after being given, we call it opi op, um, opiates. Mm -hmm. The opiates, yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. They used to treat severe pains. Mm -hmm. It could be the somatoform can develop as a result of because you've taken, taken it off, so you become addicted if, to that. If if I wouldn't use addiction. You, your body tells well, you that <laughs> you need it. You need it, and <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> and then I talk, I spoke about daily functioning, life yeah, activities. Exactly. Exactly. So, so now with all this education that we are passing around, how can we diagnose or how can we, uh, yes, that's the word you guys will use, mm -hmm. how can we diagnose somebody who, who is suffering from somatic, uh, somatoform disorder? If the person is not literate to go to hospital or whatever, how, what, what are the things that you can be on this set to, to say that will let people know that maybe I mean, this movie will be one. Uh, 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 okay, so it's, like I said earlier, it occurs continually. So the person must continually complain or having focus on physical mm -hmm. symptoms mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. fatigue, pain, mm -hmm. like we mentioned. Mm -hmm. That is one. Mm -hmm. Then you report to mm -hmm. your doctor. Mm -hmm. you, you, they will go through all kind of examination to rule out medical mm -hmm. and neurological mm -hmm. issues, mm -hmm. then you'll be referred. Or you see a psychologist and you'll be taken through mm -hmm. the process mm -hmm. and will be diagnosed. Mm -hmm. And so even diagnosing, you see somatoform disorders are general. So which one are you struggling with? <laughs> then we will be able to, take know, to diagnose, that. diagnose that and then help you on that. Sometimes um, you may be thinking it's pain. I could be the convention that is making you, you think so, so the underlying factor. It could be like we said that the causes, family influ influence, which is genetics, and then um, we have the environmental. So if it is the environmental, how to adjust and all those things. Hmm. So they are they are processes that mm -hmm. the psychologists will take you through, mm -hmm. medical doctors will take mm -hmm. you through to conclude and make that decision that. This is the issue. So there, there, are, there are treatments for this, right? Yes. There's always help. So how do you do that? Okay. So we look at when you see a medical doctor and a cycle, it's a teamwork. Mm -hmm. We all play our part. Mm -hmm. 
So you go through the process of examination, mm -hmm. and now we conclude or we are able to diagnose mm -hmm. what exactly is your issue. Mm -hmm. Then we go through the psychological process where we get to know what exactly is causing that. Mm -hmm. Then based on that, we help you. Mm -hmm. So there are medications. Okay. There are, I call it self help. Mm -hmm. So now that you know what is your issue, you find out mm -hmm. what is the triggers mm -hmm. and then what you yourself can do to help mm -hmm. the situation, then what others can do. Mm -hmm. So when you see a psychologist, it's not a one day treatment plan. Okay. So you only have to stay focused mm -hmm. to your treatment plan. Sometimes you have to stop doing certain things, avoid certain things. You just another. them. And in an extreme cases, you are given medications, mm -hmm. like psychiatric will come in and give you medications, depending on the severity. So we have, we can measure the severity from mild, severe, moderate, in that order. So mm -hmm. depending on the level you are, will determine, but always the best treatment is where you do a holistic approach, where you put medical, psychological, everything all together including spiritual including spiritual mm -hmm. so um a question somebody is asking a question at what age um can somebody um experience somatoform disorder um with some somatoform children go through but you know children can't tell okay yes, so exactly. sometimes we ignore some of these things but from a reasonable adult age mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Usually where the responsibilities mm -hmm. have set in, mm -hmm. where you have to really live daily to fulfill the goal. Mm -hmm. So there's no age. There's no age limit. Yes. So everyone, everyone is entitled to, everyone can <laughs> be entitled, <laughs> can yes. be entitled to, to, to having somatoform disorder. Uh, but we have risk factors anyway. All right. So let's share the risk factors. It probably somebody also asked the same question so that, we can we can we can run a risk factors to say goodbye to our viewers. So what are what are the risk factors that probably um, may may bring up somatoform disorder? So we can look at uh, drug use. So if the person is on drugs, mm. the, the drugs I'm not talking about just the illegal ones. The legal parasitic the prescribed, the prescribed ones. Okay. And how, then, how, how? You see, we misuse okay. and use drugs wrongly. Okay. So it's a prescribed medication, okay. but okay. you are not using it the right that, way. Like okay. the opi opiates I mentioned, yeah, yeah. we are for, using it to treat pain. severe pain. Particular, mm -hmm. then you have made it. As soon as you have headache, yeah. you go in. You know, <laughs> with time, your body would uh, accept, mm. and then then we have environmental. You see, then the mm -hmm. genetics also okay. predisposes um, you. Uh -huh. So all it. these things, and then some of the things you feed your brains with, mm -hmm. things that we watch, mm -hmm. things that we are so used to and we think they are normal, things that we talk about often mm -hmm. and all those things. Mm -hmm. Some people cannot um, stay in the dark for some few minutes. They will become overwhelmed and start throwing mm -hmm. tantrums because of sometimes some of the things they engage themselves doing. Mm -hmm. Back at the secondary school, we talk about ghosts and all created stories. Mm -hmm. And if you are not strong, you get to know that when is this time there's a ghost and mm -hmm. you start behaving a certain way towards mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. So when is certain time, you don't go to certain places mm -hmm. and you can't go to a place alone. I have a friend, she always walk with a torchlight because she see a snake. Daytime, night, every time. What, what, it's in her bag. At the church room, No, it's with her. The, so, so she will use evening, it. She will use, she will use it. it. Wherever she's walking, she will, use, she will need the torch because, because she, snake. she may see a snake. Mm. <laughs> I am watching a video of you. But so, so um, <clears throat> sorry. Somebody is asking that. Can physical, ab physical and sexual abuse also? Abuse is one of those causes of some of these. It's not only somatoform, mm -hmm. but the anxiety, the co occurring yeah, ones. Yeah, okay, the anxiety, okay. the depression comes okay. in as a result of abuse. Mm -hmm. Any of the kind of mm -hmm. abuse can lead to that. 
That's mm -hmm. why we talk about environment. Mm. And finally, how do we prevent, we have helped them, we have diagnosed. What should we do? How do we prevent even it from not even happening to us? What should we do that none of us, my viewers and whoever will watch this thing, would never endanger himself or herself in acquiring uh, tomato food? <laughs> okay, <laughs> so the environment is the key. Yeah. And then personality traits of uh, negativity. So the bottom line is know your triggers. Mm -hmm. Know what is it that your body doesn't mm -hmm. like. Mm -hmm. Then again, abuse. Let's try to prevent from abuse. abuse of all kinds. More... Then environment. Mm. Mm. Let's not brush people off. Mm. But let's listen to everybody. Mm. You see, let's stop also normalizing things. So yeah. we went to the riverside together to fetch water. Mm -hmm. I'm saying I saw snake. You didn't see, so he said it's a lie. It doesn't help. You can prove further. How did you see the snake? Where? You know, it helps you to calm the person down exactly. and build that trust. Exactly. Okay. So even if it wasn't a snake, there's a justifiable way to explain to the person mm. than to totally brush it off. So it's in the mind that as soon as I get there's a snake. Mm. But if you try to, even if there was a snake, there's a way you will go that the snake wouldn't have anything to do with you. And mm. it starts from childhood. <laughs> Let's pay attention to certain things. Mm. When people are doing things in the extreme, mm -hmm. let's be concerned. Mm -hmm. Let's not just judge and label them, mm -hmm. but draw mm -hmm. the attention to the fact that there could be help. Mm -hmm. So the mm -hmm. person has been complaining, complaining, I want to know, uh, you know, instead of doing that, let's say, okay, from the way you're talking about your situation, I think this, this, that person can be of help. I, I have a case where after handling it, the lady went for a friend who is also going to a similar and brought the person for therapy. Oh, okay. Hers was resolved. Mm -hmm. So she herself said, I'm going to bring my friends home. Mm -hmm. What about your friend? She brought a friend and the friend is now okay. That's fine. So that is how we should. And sometimes you might not be going through, mm -hmm. but let's accept the fact that people have issues. Mm -hmm. It could be psychological disorder. There's exactly, help. Exactly, exactly. It exactly. could be somatoform on itself. There's, there's it help. could be co occurring. Both of them are running. It could be one, two, three, four together happening at the same there's time. Help. So let's help people so there's that they can live a normal life. So let's help people so that they can live a normal life. Uh, Justina, thank you so much. Is it Justina is a private a counselor. She, she, can also, she does that. She works with Atomic Energy. Um, and she's a um, counseling psychologist. And if you need Justina, just, just, just call me. I'll, I'll link you to her. If there's any additional questions and contributions of what you want to know, if you really want to talk to her, you can call my line 0559 And I, I will just connect you to, to her. What this, this season of Wounds of the Heart, what we try doing is that Right after every discussion, if there's anything you, you want, if there's anything you need, just call the 0559 Just call this line. Call this line. And tell me what is your problem. Or you can WhatsApp or send a test on the same 0559 And I'll just direct you. I can refer you. If I, I can't handle I'll refer you to any of the guests that you think you want to, to meet. So that at least... Um, you deal with, they, they will talk to you to, to see how best you guys will, will continue from there. Because it is our duty, uh, it is my duty as this program to help heal that wound in your heart. So please, please, Jesse, um, thank you so much for your time. You always, you always respond to our call whenever we need you. And I know um, we will need you the more. Um, we have unfinished business. We will need you the more. So please, whenever I want to have calls you, Father, um, um, Tina, please pick up and tell me, Papa, I'm coming, I'm coming, because we need to do this thing together. Um, God bless you for your time with us. Amen. God bless you. Viewers, God bless you for your time. God bless you so much. And help me thank Justina for, for her time. Um, you'll be seeing her more. So please, um, she has staff. I can't let her sit in the office alone. 
to, to do it with one on one. I want, I'll bring her for viewers, uh, about thousands of people, to also hear um, what she also has for us. Um, Silica Free, God bless you for the fabric. Alpha Art, God bless you for the flyer. And you, the viewer, God bless you for all the time watching and sharing the link and subscribing to our YouTube page, Hope TVGH, and Facebook page, Hope TVGH. And thank you so much for, for praying for me all the time to come out with people, to come out with topics, to come out with the discussion, and to come out to, with ways that we can help ourselves. I've been your regular host, and the name is Pastor Daniel Abedou Bidiaba. I'm out. Yama will be beer a quaba at the baby dima for her back clinic. Or yale food beer with dima for the hair ya. Doctor say yes, said the woe woo, and now say yes, see no pet. And I would need a quenya and will be dima for her back clinic. The oil food beer a hisha a year and it does so. And it does so abba ama oil any beer or shame me a say. The yaleno or yaleno, so will be PM will be dima for her back clinic and qua dia. Yanko Pantum Obenya na yale sa. Debi ya mitaka se. Kabe biya adansi ya wopa. Eye Pentecost for a solidem. Nese miti mafu heba klinik adansi diye. A chain Pentecost for a solidem. Fu se da ni da adansi ya mkulo fu e diye. E nina e da e di pefe se. O nyanko pante yali e nina sutumi. Ase Dr. Tam da so ensa. Obe okre ofi abro chile na eba. Owe ofre doctor. Yale we na e hami e na sen na wo me ba me di e na doctor de tab atoso amano wo na wo can take it in and out no ababe tena sa doctor she wo nansa nansa enso ano niyaku pa dumiti insha Allah na ayarisa abba a sen na kren se mo si muni duya na ba mo na haba sa yale ne abem ama oh my God adano mami bi adan si wo se doctor me kura me di mini pa duya ne obi ka se. Me first see how one see the same. And to the point of fear in the gap of the so say me me to me and anti and come in yet. Visa me kura me di mini pedu ya manye me want to mu da se me to me and anti and me na me ko America. Sister, me say me ya di me to cartoon ya ba ya ya reject me say me wu cartoon ya di me she ba ya di me to doctor clinic ha e wo me di ma fu ano. Me da min chemu na doctor di eduro e ma me she impo ya di me am pe ya me antre. Doctor Ma me dro en mo nyam Kenya nko pon si mo ba ko pena mi a me da fam na mi ntimi so me timi asore atenase o ma mi biom sa ka wo se yam fam nko fie en ne nan mi ne ne me ti kwa je se asa wo nya le da wo sister wo huru ko so ja ne ho hwe fam a e je se o nyankopon adom o de to mi ayare se nyina to mi ahye doctor tab da so en sam pa je se de wo wuo ana se wo sie no and that only a quenya. If I try a friend, I'm auntie for me, friend carrier, and best night, I was only a woman, will be any one summer making. Minya stroke, mint me deep, mint me cassa, my dunny moon, men sent to me, my lament, me and auntie, men cry, I may be a man, and once I met to all. Many moon in age, my be different, and will be cut and some of me, I'm not doctor Tam Dasso. Ah, me dimma for a back and a co, or better me. I'm penny and prime me dinner, chick by me by and so. Yang kuku wanda romanti papa no yana ma wife bi before di e e drove for di e yana ma wife because me chile bi before no so star me want to me me be drove na watch me yenu pe 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 di e me chime ni ni na me chime ye and the doctor ne di e ni a me ne extra no wey na ma ye na ma wife and what them be PM me wey are na wey ching ching I tell now we see any yet duro no. And then yanko pa do doctor Tam that's what I will remember. Say me yell ye in yet duro. A chum fi sir. We slow ko no Tam da so. Or diabetes Tam da so. Prostate no ye di ura ba tu mo be me mo no. Tam da so nansan ye be ye ma wanya wo fa a mo di ye. Me say anano police ni bi wo say doctor. Me papa mi ni anum di ye. Me hu di ye e ha wo mo wo. Me di di se mi ye di me papa ba ha wo lo be ye. Ye be ye fi ni be me mo ampa. And so almost say da me so di ye. Kati na wose Dr. Tamu da so si. Sa waba wa hene nansa ye nye adon pe yobo fanko. Nansa ni mpo. Insha Allah a asoni ye yi wurabo. Ea ene. Namkwa. Wa jun sofa ni bem. E diye na wo kwen kwen. 
me sisi me chika se me koto je me kwa dami tumi na me vidi mo chisi ni ni na ye entertia kid baby oh free baby ya no faka me siku masi ebua kwa police station u si ebua kwa police me pato o fat text na me pato who said this? I don't want to see clinic because I don't know. Maybe what I see in my messi, me di ma phone number was so sad. I see you can't talk about. No, we never saw for another talk. I don't know. Come back, fool, fool. My mum is quite crazy. I do nonsense. My mum is not even going to pawn the air. I'm pawning the air. I'm so me can't close it. Me di ma phone the air. Any other day, the oil is beyond time. That's why we di ma phone her back clinic. Inspiration behind the hymns. Makwa Jojo na mewahi. The, the main objectives are two, two main objectives mm -hmm. for this beautiful program. We sing a lot of hymns for different worship services, including Sabbaths, mm -hmm. as seven-day Adventists. We want to find out who are the people who wrote these hymns, mm. who are the composers that they worked with, what was the inspiration the motivation, the power that enabled them to pen these beautiful hymns down for our benefits. That is number one. Mm -hmm. And then number two is to encourage congregational singing. Mm. It appears as Seventh-day Adventists, we have to improve our congregational singing. Mm. Join us on the program, Inspiration Behind the Hymns. Every Friday, 8 to 9 p.m. on Hope Channel. Ni a onyango pon yesha ni se oni pe biya be di ye e wa sa si so. Eno ti a juma biya o ye no u ni a ho ni diye eni chere chere papa. Mbe ni fasi sa ngwa be ba konto mre em kwenye ni a na ejine mu namso. Eno ti na Hope Channel e di juma biya e friend se business forum abrewo. Ya wada nyumre no ngwa chibia me chire 8 p.m. She a me na na kwa misika me nim peninfo a wa bain no wa dosuko e wo sika se mu a dwa di mu eni e nyuma mu be sinko nya ni a mount chire chire papa e be boa o na onso wetimi a tumpon piao.